Hi, this is Karthik from Design School, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve dynamic background as the user scrolls in Elementor. Rodrigo actually pinged me with this link. So watch what happens when I scroll through on this code pen. It changes background and every time you scroll through, the background color changes to a different one. Well, that's because of jQuery and there's a plugin for jQuery that they're using and you can set all the properties. You can configure what kind of backgrounds or dynamic backgrounds you want for your section or that particular widget. We'll actually make a widget out of it. And in order to do that, we'll use unlimited elements for Elementor. So you download unlimited elements for Elementor. You can search for that in repository, WordPress repository, it's there. I'll also leave a link to that. It's an add-on for Elementor, meaning you need to have Elementor installed. And we'll do this with an Elementor interface. So once you install unlimited elements for Elementor, you get unlimited elements field in your backend. Click on widgets for Elementor. We'll create a new widget. We'll not write any code. Instead, we'll just port this code and make it work with our newly created widget with the help of unlimited elements add-on. It's really cool and I'll show you how. Click on the category that you want to create the widget in. I'll just click on add widget. Let's call it dynamic background. Let's call it dynamic background widget. Widget name will be autofilled based on what you type in the title. Let it be that way. I'll click on add widget. So it will create a new widget for us. You can double click on this or click on it and click on edit widget. Either way, it will open up the widget where you can enter all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other third party libraries that you want. Let's go to HTML. Let's copy the HTML. It's a plain HTML. So you can simply copy all of the HTML. I'll leave a link to this code pen in the description. So copy where it says dynamic bg widget html paste the code now we have the html required to get this next we need css for our widget here the css is scss so you need to click on the drop down and click on view compiled css now it will show us pure css that we can copy let's go back to css in the widget and paste all the css and within javascript let's paste this as well but there are a few modifications for this this is not an actual javascript it's rather jquery and you can see that by clicking on settings go to javascript and you can find all the libraries of javascript used in this jquery is already built into our unlimited elements widget so you can click on js css includes thing you can click jquery and that will automatically include jquery for this widget and the other widget that we want is this so you can copy the url from here it's in view it's a plugin jquery plugin if you don't know what a plugin for jquery is you don't have to understand basically it's what makes this code possible so all this is happening because of the code defined in that plugin or in that particular js file within js includes file copy the second and now it will include the JavaScript file that we need. We have jQuery and we also have the in view min JS file. So these are the two things that are required to achieve this. So once we include the libraries, I'll click on update. And in JavaScript, instead of dollar sign, just replace the dollar sign here in the first line with jQuery, where J is a small letter and query Q is capital. This is really important. You type the exact same word that I do. And here, wherever there's a dollar sign, let's replace it with jQuery. And that's all. That's all you need to do to make this widget functional. So we added HTML. These are basically a series of divs within which we have H1 tags. I explained that in HTML basics tutorial. You can check that out. CSS, they basically included few backgrounds and stuff like that. These are the backgrounds by default. And because of this plugin or this code, the background changes dynamically. So that's what it's doing. It's actually taking the background color of each widget or the data background color. So it's taking that and it's changing background color to that. So every time you scroll through, it will pick a background color and 
make the background color based on what enters the view or viewport you don't have to understand it that's what this code does all it does is changes background dynamically okay we're done with html css we've configured make sure you check this jquery thing and also paste the nview min script so all the code that we need is now available let's open an elementor page and test this code out i'll click on demo i'll open code pen demo page and for those of you who don't know command e or control e will open finder where you can type the name of your templates pages or anything else and you can simply open them right from within anywhere within your wordpress dashboard this is actually an elementor feature it's called elementor finder i have a separate tutorial for this so you can check that out what it's capable of so it opens up our demo we'll just drag in our newly created widget which is under my collection you can also search for it if you know the name of it so it's dynamic bg widget Let's click and drag it. Once we drag it, the widget loads all the libraries, all the HTML and everything else required. And now you see how it works. Perfect, right? Now you see the background changes dynamically. And we just ported the code simply. Just by understanding what the widget is made up of, we just achieved this. Okay, this is actually an inner section. So let's drag it once again. So I, I just stretched this section to full width. Let me minimize the side panel. Now you see it. We just achieved the dynamic scrolling thing. Now when you scroll through the background changes and here they have plain headings or things like that. So if you want actual functional widget, let's replace it with something really useful such as maybe rich text editor or maybe heading or an image that you can pick right within the widget itself. So I'll just click on this. I'll select this H1. We'll create a rich text editor attribute. So we can add any content that we want instead of h1 and similarly you can do that with any h1 on this page and it's also not a good idea to have h1 let me click on attribute let me click let me choose the type of attribute i want a rich text editor it's of type editor let's call it editor one it's editor one default value let's say type or select media let's click on add attribute so this will make a rich text editor attribute when we replace html with this attribute user can pick anything that he wants from here so he can enter the content right within this widgets interface when he re replace this html with an attribute i'll select this whole attribute here i have newly created attribute which is a rich text editor i'll click on it and that will replace the whole heading with the attribute itself update this i'll also update this so when we refresh the page instead of h1 we have a rich text editor we named it editor one now you can either pick images or type text let me pick an image i'll just click this image i'll insert it so instead of the first heading it will just insert this image you can see that here and now when we scroll through it changes the background just like that see it right so that's cool that easy and in body let's remove some of the properties that are not required maybe you can set the color within the wrapper or anything if you don't need any properties you can simply remove them there are a lot of pop properties set right within so instead of each h1 you can either replace it with an attribute in html the first one i did replace the first one with an editor attribute you can replace the other h1s with any attribute so if you want an image 
if you want to pick an image just click on add attribute from this type pick image so that way you can pick an image instead of h1 and once you create an image attribute let's call it image 1 let's click on add attribute and let's replace the second h1 with image 1 just like that now instead of the second heading you can pick an image or if you want to replace the heading with a section you can design a section and replace the short code with it just paste the short code here you don't have to create an attribute instead of this whole heading just paste the short code and that will display the section correctly whichever section or whatever template that you design just by porting the code from code pen we created a dynamic background or a section with a dynamic background and there are a lot of colors here predefined you can change these colors to anything pick your own hex codes you can change these colors and also these colors change them to any values that you want and based on the scrolling they'll all be replaced with this so it's that easy to achieve a dynamic background with elementor just by porting code from the code pen again thanks rodrigo for pointing this out to me i'll talk to you in the next video hopefully you liked it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it with your friends i'll talk to you real soon peace